Welcome back to Discover Mexico, where we will make traveling to this beautiful destination a breeze. What better way to truly appreciate the vastness of Mexico City than to observe it from above? So consider taking a trip to some of the locations on our list if you aren't afraid to make the extra effort to enjoy panoramic vistas. I've collected some of the best views in Mexico City for you, so you can want them on your visit. The list isn't in any particular best-to-worst order, instead being how close they are to one another or the historic center. Please remember that many places will require entrance fees, or you may be asked to buy a drink or meal to enter. Of course, many more locations in the city will provide you with a panoramic view. So without wasting much time, let's dive in. Torre Latinoamericana When it was built in 1956, the Torre Latinoamericana was the highest structure in the region. It continues to be the center of attention for Centro Histórico. It is a recognizable feature of Mexico City's skyline and a practical tool for ensuring that you are moving in the right direction when you are in the city. Located in the historic center of Mexico City, the tallest building within the Centro Histórico, this indicates that the skyscraper promises spectacular views of this enormous capital city. Your admission ticket entitles you to use the elevator up to the 44th floor observation deck where you can enjoy a 360-degree panorama view of Mexico City. Also, you can visit its museum or cafe. The Torre has survived several significant earthquakes in 1985 and 2017. This is possible because of the firmly planted pylons that support the structure. If the smog permits, the views from the 41st floor club bar and the 44th floor observation deck are breathtaking. The sheer size of the metropolis can be appreciated in a way that is impossible from the ground up. I suggest going to Torre Latinoamericana when it opens. In addition to being less crowded, you'll get a better view of the city in the morning. Eventually, visibility will be reduced due to an increase in pollution. Finca Don Porfirio Cafe Coffee with a view Sounds good, yes? So if you want to sip your beverage while admiring the scenery, stop by Finca Don Porfirio Cafe and take a balcony seat. The cafe is situated across from the Palacio de Belas Artes, on the top level of the Sears Retail Center. And as you might have predicted, the fantastic views of the Palacio de Belas Artes from this cafe's balcony are why it has skyrocketed in popularity on social media. Everyone always wants to sit in the cafe's front row of the seats, since they have the best views. Although there are other tables in the back where you can sit, the picture isn't excellent. So you must choose between waiting for a front seat and accepting a seat towards the back as you enter the cafe. Be prepared to wait for 20 to 30 minutes to get the finest seat. I promise the wait will be worthwhile. Casa de los Azulejos Casa de los Azulejos, popularly known as the House of Tiles, is another vantage point in Mexico City that you should consider visiting. The Zoquelo serves as the neighborhood's focal point extending several blocks into the surrounding region to form Mexico City's historic core. Since the Spanish started constructing the nation's capital here, many places in this area of the city are worth visiting and are rich in culture and history. The Casa de los Azulejos is located in the Callejón de la Condensa, between 5 de Mayo and Madero streets. This is the one place I recommend you visit in this area of Mexico City. It is also one of the most eye-catching due to its distinctive design. During the 18th century, a palace was initially constructed here. Three of the impressive home's sides are covered in white and blue tiles imported from the state of Puebla. The magnificent residence was commissioned by the family of the Count de Valle de Oriza. The Sanborns brothers eventually purchased this property, which has been privately owned until the 19th century. They turned it into one of the most renowned restaurants in the nation. The Casa de los Azulejos has a Baroque-inspired style both inside and out. Its exterior feature not only the tiles, but also the balconies and doors with frames made of carved stone and inlaid with French porcelain, giving them a more upscale and regal appearance. The central area of the interior is a courtyard with a tiled fountain. It is an 18th century Baroque place with a unique facade covered by blue, white and yellow tiles. The Sanborns restaurant group purchased the building in 1917, which is still in their possession. While the buildings outside and interior are worth seeing, step out onto the balconies and you'll get the excellent views of the busy Avenue Francisco 1 by doing so. Madero, which leads to Constitution Square of the Zocalo. Balcón del Zocalo Restaurant 
Speaking of the Zocalo, reserve a table at the Balcon del Zocalo restaurant if you truly want a good perspective of one of the biggest public squares in the world. While strolling around, the area will give you an idea of its size. Nothing compares to seeing it from above. Make a reservation in advance if you want a delicious, somewhat expensive meal while taking in the views. Get your chance at Balcon del Zocalo to try Mexican food if you've never done so. Many customers claim that the staff serves perfectly prepared salmon, pig roast and grilled octopus. Trying delicious fruitcake, banana cake and pudding is the best thing you can do. You can purchase delightful Chardonnay, craft beer or Irish coffee here. The most well-liked drinks at this establishment include cortados, fantastic espresso and fresh juices. Bring the kids as this restaurant has a fun kids menu. Many guests think the restaurant staff is adorable. You ought to visit this restaurant if you want rapid service. Prices are reasonable too. And you'll love the serene atmosphere and tasteful decor. Revolution Monument. Monumento a la Revolucion. Would you enjoy viewing the sunset from a spectacular vantage point in the city? If so, you should go to Monumento a la Revolucion, which is located in Mexico City's historic center. The Monument to the Revolution stands 220 feet tall and is the world's tallest triumphal arch. However, only some people know how much is going on inside this enormous monument to the Mexican Revolution. Even though many people admire it as they stroll around downtown Mexico City, the monument to the revolution would not have been constructed in its current configuration if everything had gone according to plan. When the Palacio Legislativo federal construction started in 1906, it wasn't for a monument. The intention to build this opulent palace to seat the numerous legislative bodies of the Mexican Federal Republic was shelved in 1912 as a result of the Mexican Revolution. The enormous metal frame that formed the center of the unfinished building sat corroding in Mexico City for over 20 years, up until the exciting proposal made by Mexican architect Carlos Obregón Santa Cilia, who later turned the building into a monument to the heroes of the Mexican Revolution. Santa Cilia built his monument on top of the palace's cupola structure, adding monumental construction in the Art Deco and Mexican socialist realism styles. The 67-meter-tall Triumphal Arch serves as a memorial for the Mexican Revolution. In addition to serving as a mausoleum, it has a gallery, an exhibition, and the National Museum of the Revolution. The building's most notable feature is a glass elevator that travels up and down through the building's center to an observation deck. You can see some beautiful vistas of Mexico City from here. You can also order food or a drink and stay up for as long as you like here. If you've been to other viewpoints during the day, I recommend coming here at sunset. This wraps up our video for today. Thank you for sticking with me. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. See you in our following video.